Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the first time I make a video on a Sunday. As far as I can remember, it's the first time. But I wanted to take advantage. I had extra time this Sunday and I wanted to upload this video. I'm going to be talking to you guys about the tools that I use for nail art. And I do want you to keep in mind that depending on who you ask, what nail artist you ask, they're probably going to tell you different tools depending on their art style and just what helps them the most. First, let's start with the dotting tools. The dotting tools, I made a video talking about them, so I'm just going to paste the link in the information section. My nail art brushes. My nail art brushes are probably the ones that I use the most, or recently the ones I've been using the most. I love using nail art brushes just because you could become a lot more detailed in your nail art with the brushes. Where do I purchase my nail art brushes from? The ones I use the most are actually not for nail art. I purchased them from craft stores. Uh, the one, one of my favorite craft stores is Michael's. And I find more nail art supplies there than I do anywhere else. You can walk in there and just walk in there and go through the aisles and see what you can use for nail art. You'll find the flat rhinestones. Of course, they're not called the flat rhinestones at um, Michael's. They're under glitters. And there's such a big variety of glitters that it's amazing. I mean, your nail art creativity will start just flowing in there. You'll find rhinestones at very affordable prices and of course the brushes. I, I purchased a set of dotting tools there too. So Michael's for me, I just, I feel like a kid in a candy store when I go in there. The brushes I use, like I said, they're not for nail art and I find them at the brush aisle. So let's zoom you in and show you exactly what brushes those are. These are the ones that come in the nail art pack. These are actually made for nail art. And the ones I use the most from all of these is probably going to be the liner brush. You can see how thin that is and it's just perfect to go in and create those stripes. So this is a very good one for me. Another one that I use a lot would probably also be this one here, which is also sort of like a liner brush. And one of my favorite, favorite tools is the marbling tool. I absolutely love the marbling tool. You can create dots with this. I don't know. It's just a very useful tool. It's one of my favorite ones. But other than that, oh, this is a good one too, right here, because I love using the slanted tip one to create flowers. It's a very easy way of creating flowers. You know what? I'm going to show you exactly how I use this one to create flowers. Here's my slanted tip brush, and depending on the size of your brush, that's how big your flower petals will come out. So this one's pretty small, so we're going to get a small flower out of this, or the petals will be kind of small. So I'm going to dip in, there's half and half, and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to create a flower. So all you do is press down and pick it up, and you see that perfect petal? So you just continue doing that all around, all around, and... That's so easy. It's just an easy way of creating a flower. So I'm going to show you a very easy design to do on your nail. Let's say you just have a solid background color and you're just going for a very simple flower design. This is so easy to do. So you just go all around, all around, and it's not perfect, but there you have it. And then you can just go in to the little corner and just create three petals, one, two, and three and from here you do two petals and then to finish off you do one and you could do that going sideways on your nail and it's just a very simple flower design to achieve with a tilted brush. Now for the dotting tools. There's so many sizes. Uh, basically what all you need or the one I use the most is the one that has the big end on one side and then the tiny end at the other side. Basically that's all you need. These three brushes are the ones that I use the most for nail art. And I'm going to run them by here really quickly. And these are the ones you'll see me using the most. They're liner brushes and spotter brushes. Uh, the liner brush, which is the first one you see there, I like to use to create stripes. And they have even longer ones. And then the last two are spotter brushes. But I like to use them to go in and do swirls and just really intricate designs. So these are it. This one here is another one of my favorite brushes 
and you can see the size right there and the tip is so fine. This one's also really good for going in and creating intricate designs. For creating my one stroke flowers, this is the one that I have found to be the most useful. It's just a square tip and this is actually a nail art one that I purchased very inexpensively from eBay but I purchased it a long time ago and I don't even remember the name of the seller but just go on eBay and buy the sets. This one came in a set of many so this one's great for me for creating the one stroke. This is a little bit something extra I wanted to share with you guys. These are the paints I've been using lately. I've been using Americana, Folk Art, and Apple Barrel. I purchased these from Walmart or from my local craft store. And these are um, acrylic, water-based acrylic paints. And they're very fun to use. They come in a wide variety of colors. And I'll paste the link in the information section to the video where I talked about the Crayola brand. I still use the Crayola brand. I like using the Crayola when I'm going to be creating a very simple flower. But these are the ones that I've been using for my one stroke flower. I hope this video has been of some kind of help to you. Have a wonderful Sunday, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.